Hello, Brian here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have the schedule of official content for this week, and it looks like it's going to be a great one. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members, in particular to my latest channel member, Lee Cooper. Thank you so much for the support. It is truly appreciated. So starting with this Tuesday, the subscriber monthly newsletter and subscriber com link will be posted, letting us subs know what to expect for this month. On Wednesday, we are in for a lot of treats as both the Persistent Universe and Squadron 42 monthly reports will release. And as always, I will cover these in their own dedicated videos, so do keep an eye out for those. But also, as we heard recently with the new edition of Alpha 321, the roadmap this fortnight will provide more details as to what 321 will involve. So likely highlighting exactly what features are expected with this initial build, although I am sure there will be many more things getting added over time as it approaches its release for CitizenCon. And again, I will cover any and all changes here on YouTube. I think it's likely that just whatever was expected to come with the 320.1 patch is what will be coming with the initial 321 patch, and then the rest in November for the IAE. Now, this Thursday, Inside Star Citizen will be back, and this time round, it will be a sprint report. And more, it says. However, this will be the last episode of the quarter before it goes on its usual hiatus. I always enjoy a good sprint report in which CIG highlight a lot of the work that is going on in a lot of areas in small sort of visual snippets. Not sure how much we will see in this episode or whether they will be holding a lot of stuff off for CitizenCon, but I will enjoy it anyway. Also, this Thursday kicks off the Day of the Virus celebrations, which is pretty much the inverse Halloween, but 900 years in the future, in which citizens wear black and green and honor the dead. Certainly worth reading up on if you are a law buff, as this holiday, which is annually on October 27th, originated way back in the 2500s, after the disappearance of a ship called Vara while it was in the Hades system. Definitely a nice way to set the tone for the Halloween period, and do expect to see a lot of competitions, prizes to be won, and things to do in the verse. And so finally, this Friday, the RSI newsletter will be emailed out. However, there will be no Star Citizen Live, but that show will return next week. Now, an update on Alpha 320. It says they are aware that many players are having issues with connectivity and or gameplay, and they have some additional fixes coming soon. In fact, last night they opened up a new... 320 live hotfix channel on the launcher to help resolve some of the top crashes, the constellation snub fighter position, and some audio delay fixes as well, which says that this channel also points to the live service. So playing on this hotfix channel will give you the same progress as if you were on the live channel anyway. So if you are having difficulty getting into the game or a lot of issues with 320, I highly suggest checking out this hotfix channel on the launcher and seeing if that resolves any problems. Now for 321, there was a new build set to release to the PTU last night, but unfortunately it ran into a few issues, so they have been fixing these problems, and we'll try another release later today with more fixes and features. So great to not just see this 321 patch filling out with features ready for CitizenCon, but also continuing to bug fix and improve Alpha 320 at the same time. As Chris did mention, it is now a strong priority to get the quality of life of the Alpha to a really high standard. Now, in other news, they say more information regarding CitizenCon, including the event schedule, event map, and more is just around the corner. So keep an eye out for that. Hoping for more information this week, especially a schedule, but it could potentially be next week that we get that information. Uh, and for Arena Commander's experimental mode schedule, right now it is Tank Royale which is a lot of fun, by the way. Uh, but something pretty cool that happened is after we, the community, asked for the Master Mode's Free Flight Mode to be a permanent addition to Arena Commander and not rotated in and out through the schedule, they have now done so. So anyone can try Master Modes in Free Flight, which was a great idea as it does allow for just continuous feedback and testing. So happy to hear that they have gone ahead and done that. Kudos to the team who got that sorted. So anyway, from me this week, I will be working on the work that finished in August video. According to the progress tracker, a lot of very exciting features came to completion, it seems. So do keep your eyes out for that on Wednesday. And as mentioned, I will be working on the monthly report videos and the roadmap changes videos as well, which will keep me busy throughout the week. 
And of course, Star Citizen Sunday. This Sunday will also be available. Uh, I will also be streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother on Wednesday and Friday between 2 and 5 p.m. BST. You are all more than welcome to come and hang out there. We're currently playing 320. I will probably be checking out 321 next time I stream on Wednesday, seeing what that has to offer while chatting about what we could be seeing at CitizenCon. It is a very exciting time, so come and join in on the hype. But that is what to expect this week in the world of Star Citizen. Quite a monster week of content and information, and I really look forward to diving in and seeing what is what. But with that said, I hope you all have a great week yourselves. And if you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing. We are getting very close to 60,000 subscribers. Cannot believe it. Thank you all so much for the support. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. It does do the channel a big favor and tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when any of my videos go live. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Cannot do this without you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.